Hello folks, and this is Orca Commander, or otherwise known as Tavaris Excavar, and I'm here to talk to you about Eve's built-in chroma keying functionality, also known as green screen or blue screen effects. Chroma key kind of being an all-encompassing word to cover the entire spectrum of visible light. But, it is not exactly an easy thing to pull off. Now, the first thing, now why would you want to actually... Uh, Use chroma keying. Well, chroma keying will allow you to replace the background surrounding your tune and your character portrait, or your no, right, right here, this character portrait, or you can create uh, it in the entire full body view, which I'll bring up really quickly here. So, you can replace. Uh, if it would just load quickly. So, you can replace this entire gray background with a green screen. Now, green screen is primarily used with uh, digital medium, while blue screen is with analog traditional film. That being that blue is less variance in color and, and higher in precision on the analog film, and green, especially when it's RGB set values, is straight 255 green. It is a lot harder to come across, so you're not less likely to get uh, important bits matted out. Now, we go into portrait mode. You can also replace this, but that's a separate process that we, I will be going into shortly. So, the first thing you need to do is you need to go into your escape menu, uh, and then you go to display and graphics. Now, lots of stuff here, but then you get to take a quick peek at my settings. But uh, right here under miscellaneous, that is where you need to go. Enable green screen portrait background. Turns the background in the character creation and recustomization, as well as the character preview window. Green is in order to allow players to easily remove background from screenshots. Yes, you can remove the background. But much, much more easier because you can just select a single color to remove. But it can also allow you to replace the background with something else quite easily in stuff like your favorite editing suites of Adobe Photoshop, Sony Vegas, Adobe Premiere, After Effects, which I will not be covering how to do because I don't really know how to do that well. So I'm going to click this and now it's enabled. Notice how this hasn't changed yet. That's because you have to change this in the actual character editor. So. We now click full body view, and whoa, look at all that bright green. So as we can see, I now have my entire character here green screened. Now there's a couple things we can do from here to in order to uh, capture this. We can make this as large as possible by go, doing this. Uh, when you're, in my opinion, when you're working with uh, video editing software, uh, the larger in pixel the assets you have the better so now we could use the standard print uh, screen functionality of eve for uh, screenshot but and that will give you a nice rough outline of your character but not really posed in any sort of meaningful way so we don't need this window anymore now the second thing you can do is now we can go into the character customization menu or recustomization menu, whichever I prefer to refer to it, which is this icon right here. I have a resculpt available, I'm not going to use it. <laughs> I've had this resculpt available since I made this tune, so. Uh, so click no if you don't want to do any resculpting, and it'll save your resculpt, so don't worry about it. Oh, so yep, we left the green screen enabled, so we have none of the background stuff here. Now, this isn't really the screen we want, although if you want to mess with your character's wardrobe, feel free to. But what we want is the next menu, so we click Next. And now we're in the portrait studio, I like to think of it, like a photography studio. So you can adjust your lighting, you can adjust your poses to various defaults, but look at this. We have the entire green screen here, but we have our background blocking it. 
So, we need to go all the way back here. All the way down to background one. I just wish that CCP would implement a better system for cycling these. It's rather annoying. And they also needed highlight that somewhat. Okay, so now we click this. Beautiful. We now have a completely green screen background, although it looks like their art department still needs to work on the fidelity of some of these assets. There should not be a giant hole there. So now we still have GUI in the way, so we just do the standard control F9 and bam. We now have our character with no GUI, well, except maybe my mouse cursor, and a full green screen background. And he's well lit, so we can hit the print screen button and get our screenshot. And you can do, zoom out and manipulate him as you would normally. And bring the control F9 to bring it up again. You can play around with the poses, do what you wish. I'm not going to judge what you decide to do with this. Now, now we don't want to click finalize because most likely you are already uh, happy with your uh, portrait already. So we don't want to mess with that. So we'll just click the back button. This will bring us back to this menu and back again. And we got our, our trash changes warning. And of course, I'm going to click yes. And now we're back in our station. I'm going to wait for things to load, 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 load. I don't have the best of machines anymore, so things take a while to load while Fraps is running. So, back in the station. We can hit the escape menu. Disable the green screen because people just get annoyed with us. And that's about it. Now, you can replace your background real quickly if you remember uh, which background you did set it to. And, and then you can just do the whole standard right-click capture portrait function. But Eve's re, uh, image server for generating those portrait uh, pr values is not exactly known for updating in an expeditious manner. So you, m you might have to wait a few hours in order to be able to actually capture a photograph that way with uh, with the green screen actually being there. And it exports them as JPEGs, which is one of my least favorite formats. And I was really upset with CCP when we no longer were able to export uh, screenshots in full bitmap. Instead, now we get some other format. I forget which, probably ping. So, that wraps up on uh, my little tutorial on how to enable chroma keying for your EVE Online portraits. Uh, feel free to comment on it on this video if you want to sit, think of something better on how to do this way. Because this is the <laughs> most... This is a fairly roundabout method. I. But, what can you do? It's not like... Uh, we can export our character models and have them full reign in 3ds max or something all right so fly safe folks and i'll talk to you again sometime soon <laughs>